and welcome. My name is April Ray, CEO and founder of the Introvert Mobile Studios. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Um, yeah, it's Tuesday morning, day after the 4th of July, and I'm just very excited today uh, for another day above ground where I can build my business and help build someone else as well. So right now I want to talk about branding. I, I, I'm not talking enough about branding, which is what I specialize in, which is something that I love and enjoy doing. And specifically branding for network marketers and direct sellers, because I notice, I'm noticing, I'm noticing this even more so, I don't know, maybe because I'm looking, I don't know. Um, but people are branding their companies. They're basically signing up with a company and they're really excited about it with due cause. You know, you when you sign, when you find a company that you resonate with and you like, you're excited about it, you want to tell everybody on the rooftops about your business. And then what you do is you put your company logo on your Facebook page, you, uh, you know, you put it on your Twitter page, and that's the only thing you talk about. My business, look at my business. My business is great. Look at my great products. And we have the best coffee or we have the best weight loss shakes. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Do not, you're going to, that's going to kill your business when you do that. First of all, you don't want to brand your business. You want to brand you. You want to brand you as the authority in the network marketing space, in the network marketing niche. You want your picture on your Facebook page. You want to create a persona around who you want to be online. You want people to get to know who you are, and you want to be able to provide value to those people. And that's when branding comes in. So you have to understand your target market. Now, I'm going to give you a little secret. It's really easy for network marketers to find their target market. Their target market is actually other people in network marketing who are trying to find leads for their business, who have maybe run through their friends and family, they, they don't want to talk to them anymore, they badgered them enough, and so they're coming online to try and build their business. You, that is your target market. You want to position yourself so that you can help these people. And the only way to do that is one, to brand yourself, and two, to start learning your industry. Learn network marketing in the direct sales industry. Understand your market. Learn a strategy and then teach the strategy. Learn something and then teach something. Provide value. So basically when you're branding you, you're not having your picture, your company logo on your Facebook page, and you're having a website. You're creating a website that brands you as well. It talks about you. It gives people ability to uh, interact with you, to get to know who you are and why they should even join your business. Because be honest, to be honest, people don't join businesses. They join people. All right, somebody who you uh, felt comfortable enough with, you decided that you were going to join the business because of them. They said it was great. You felt like, oh, okay, I believe what you're saying and I feel it's great too. Well, you want to create an authority so that people will feel the same way about you. People become attracted to you and they're not going to do that as if the only thing that you're doing is putting your company logo and talking about how awesome the products are. Nobody cares. You're shooting yourself on the foot when you do that. Why? Because people are going to come to your page. They already know what your business is. So what they're going to do is they're going to go to Google Google, and they're going to Google your business. Now you've lost complete control. You have no more control anymore. If somebody was interested, they're not going to ask you uh, because they already see what you're doing and they're going to go to YouTube and find out about it. They might find somebody who they feel has more authority than you, and then they're going to go sign up with them. So don't give away the goodies. All right. <laughs> don't just let people know, create curiosity in your marketing. There's a whole sort of uh, a way of going through this, and, and it starts with branding you. You want to have a website that's you, Inc., so it's yourname.com, and you want to create a persona around yourself. We call it the uh, an, uh, identity, your identity online. And you want to have a little tagline about what it is that you specialize in, whether it be social media, maybe it's just uh, Twitter, maybe you're the Twitter expert, but you want to always be learning something so that you can provide value to people. You don't, people don't care about your business, no matter how much you say, hey, um, look at my business is the best thing in the world. People are going to be like, yeah, I, I don't care. I'm not really interested in the business. So you want to be able to position yourself where you're attracting people that want to be in your business. Okay. So that's it on this point. I just wanted to stress the need. If you want to be more than just a distributor in a business, you want to actually be a business owner. 
you need to brand you. And so in the next videos, I'm going to be talking about what that means to brand you. Um, and basically understand that branding creates authority. It makes you the authority. It gives you more credibility. You know, let me, I'm just going to, I'm going to slow down here and I'm going to tell you a little quick story when I decided to jump back into network marketing because I left for about a year because I wanted to study some stuff. I wanted to get understand branding more because I wanted to be able to teach people. When I understood branding in a deeper way, it changed my business. I mean, I just, it changed the way I did my business. And even though I understood branding, it wasn't, it, I took it to a whole nother level. Okay, so I took that time off, and then when I decided to jump in, I was actively looking. I was actively looking. I already knew what I wanted. I knew what the kind of company that I wanted. I knew, you know, how long they needed to be in business. You know, I have an understanding of the industry. Um, and so when I went into a group to ask some questions about a particular business I was inquiring about, do you know I got 10 people who basically, you know, sent me to their exact same replicated site? It was the exact same site. Here, check, check out. I can help you. Check out my site. It's the same site. How am I, as someone who's shopping for a, a business, going to distinguish between whether or not I sign up with this guy or that guy? It's the same site. You need to be able to distinguish yourself from everybody else. That's what branding does. It sets you apart from everybody else who's doing the exact same thing that you're doing. That's important. So I just wanted to say that, tell you that little story because it was very significant. Everybody was saying, you know, look at my site, look at my site. Well, you know, it's the exact same site. I'm going to go somewhere else and see if somebody else has anything more to offer me than just their replicated website. And so, yeah, okay, that's it. That was my rant for this morning. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday morning. I hope you enjoyed your 4th of July. Mine was very restful. And now I'm back to the grind. So make sure that you, uh, if you like the video, if you got value from it, don't forget to subscribe. And also I put a link to my free branding. It's a 10 day branding e-course, um, little bite-sized chunks of what branding is and how you can utilize it in your business. And uh, just click that link below and sign up and enjoy. All right, till next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.